what are we going to use today for our Halloween um, tile? I'm using two, two Monahan papers. Yes. Um, I'm using a little element that we'll talk about in a minute. So, Pam, do you want to hand me first the oh, background paper? Yeah, right there, oh, right there. perfect. So, five by seven isn't very big, right? And so, um, I knew that my focal point, I wanted to use Stacy Mead pumpkin head, this paper. I'm not going to be able to use much of her because she's um, 11 by 17. She's awesome. And my tile's only 5 by 7. So, um, but I knew I wanted to use her and I didn't want a whole lot of negative space. I know I can use Crackle. Hi, and I know that the aging that I bring in helps cut into that negative space. But I decided I really wanted to make this paper work. I think it's called Witch Finder. It's a Monahan paper. It's 11 by 17 as well. And it just has Halloween themed verbiage on it. I could have used the Times New Roman stamp, but oh. I wanted to have the Halloween theme. So in my brain, this is gonna work out really well, but um, I don't know, we'll see, right? We'll see how it goes. So I cut this to size. It looks new, you know. We already spayed. <laughs> She's not tipsying either. <laughs> Sprayed I bet the back of the papers that. with Rust-Oleum Matte Ooh. Sealer like I always do. And I'm going to use clear liquid patina for this layer and decoupage medium for the next layer because I think it has a tad more tooth toy. Could I have a plate, please? Yes. So that's why I'm going to use the filbert because I want the medium to really lay on my surface. So I'm just going to put this on here. This and isn't... Mary Casey wants to know, could you crumple that paper, that heavyweight? Oh, see? absolutely. Yeah. Yep, I've done it before. So because Hi, this crazy. is cut to 5 by 7 you guys, and that's small, I'm automatically not going to have a whole lot of problems with bubbling and wrinkling. So I'm going to get it adhered on here, and then... You know, I'm not home free from bubbles and wrinkles for about 60 seconds. Brenda, she did not texture this board. Nope, because I know with this more rigid paper, it would be just a waste of the embossing medium. Because it won't, it won't go into the nooks and crannies like the rice papers and the tissue papers do. So, believe it or not, uh, decoupaging on top of paper, paper to paper, is, is not all that um, easy. So what I did with my Stacy Mead pumpkin head Thank is you. I fussy cut her. So <laughs> she is, the top of her is cut out. And I'm going to go right to the edge. Tip of her finger might be off a little bit. And then okay. what I want to do is... We'll cut it Come on back, Lisa. along those creases. Oh, they love Stacy. Right there. I love her too. So I'm going to follow those cut lines. And if anything, I want to go a little bit longer than I need to. And if I have to sand it. I, I know, will. Gina, isn't she so cool? Okay. I just totally threw that to the side. That's okay. So she's going to go down here. Um, what I'm, what I'm missing are some of those hand drawn elements, but you're going to see, we're going to put those back in. So I'm going to slide her down a little Hi, bit Lane. and that should be pretty good. There are going to be issues with these little arms and stuff like that. It's it's just going to happen. I'm going to use, and I don't know that this makes a difference. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm going to use a decoupage medium. 
Um, it's water-based. That water-based product could reactivate this a little bit more, but I didn't want to take the time to seal it. If it wrinkles a little bit, that's not the end of the world. So I do need a generous coat of this. Yes, that's Stacy Mead pumpkin head, right? Yep, Stacy Mead pumpkin head. There's a Stacy Mead mouse and there's a Stacy Mead crow and it's got so many cool things. So this is really thick. Like I told you, when I do it on top of the paper, I tend to overdo. And I'm not gonna get many opportunities to get this right because it's going to grab. I'm just kind of patting her down. <laughs> and it does not take much for this to dry. I know Cheryl and Tracy are uh, Halloween lovers, so they're loving this. So cool. She's on there nicely. So all the edges are sanded. It's gonna make them porous and then not look like it's all just kind of cut. Come on. All right. So that's about all that I need of each of those colors. And I'm gonna use my water bottle to water these down. And use this brush. I really, you know what? I know better. I know I need to use some big tap on this edge or it's not going to move for me. So, because oh, you didn't seal it yet, right? Is yeah. I'm just taking some big tap and I'm going to go around the edge real quick. It will help me be able to blend those colors. Actually, I'm just going to go over the whole thing. Almost like she's holding something, and we're going we're gonna to help her with that in a minute. So this is the Sandy Blonde. I know I'm going to need some um, what? baby wipes. I'm talking to myself. I have them right here. Let me know. So because my paper is so warm, it's following my brush strokes. Oh, it did already? Yeah. Jeez. So I'm just gonna. Uh, probably in here a little bit. Pull that in there. So just, we're just making it so it doesn't look like this was paper we pulled off my shelf, like I did. <laughs> there we go. Maybe just a little bit in there. Okay, I like that. Um, I'm going to just dip my brush in water. Thanks for sprinkling, you guys. And now I'm going to go in with layered chocolate. Um, and it's, it's going to grab. You have to be, you have to be careful with it. So I'm going to offload a little bit. And there's actually too much sandy blend still on my brush. So I have to switch brushes. So I want it more intense than that. There we go. And I'll run that much closer to the edge because that's what book pages do, right? They, right along that edge is where they age the most. And this is this an old sign or 
something like that. Book. Book page, yeah. I love it. All right, I'm gonna go back in with that again, but right now I'm using the Summer Crush color. Same brush, because it's gonna make it a little bit rusty. So that's where we really start getting some fun. Because pages do typically yellow, orange. They get yeah. that orangey color to them. Okay, now I'm going to go back to where I started, which is Sandy Blonde. It's that color right there. I'm gonna go lighter, I got it right here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go lighter, you guys, even. I'm gonna go with some crinoline. And that'll just give me another layer of dimension. Okay, so this is crinoline. Give me some highlights. <laughs> what, you're going lighter? <laughs> Gives it just another layer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're welcome, Karen. I'm glad you got your papers so fast. And Looking for a clean spot here. Here we go. Get that all to kind of play together nicely. <laughs> Karen says that pumpkin head is a scream. We love her. We've had her around for years. Yep, she's good. She's a good one. So I'm just gonna put this so it's in her hand. And now, um, I have to really think about what I want to do with this. So it's painted white. I am going to go in with a coat of crinoline just to warm it up so it's the same tones as the background. So here is crinoline just so I can get it so that it blends with the rest. Okay, we're gonna let that dry. I have Paint Couture's Little Black Dress Black Metallic. Never used it before. So this is gonna be our first time. Um, so the bottom is gonna have a little bit more metallic in it. So I'm gonna pull off of that. There you go.
good Halloween. I just love the skull. It's so cool. And I am able to get in there and scrub the high points. And I'm gonna to add to my very fun paper background. Black chiffon, look, look at it. It just is so <laughs> awesome, always, always. Linda. So just getting it, you know, I want there to be a shadow around the bat. I don't want them sticking out like a sore thumb. So I want to put these whimsies around, oh, you know, like the top of the pumpkin. So I'm just going to put those in. Oh, I'm glad you got your paper picks already, Lisa. That's good. And Shannon says you really can't so, beat Iodine. I'm just, you know, like varying my pressure because I don't want it to be a perfect line. So that's putting that in there. But it's the same thing around her pumpkin head. So I'm going to go just with my micron marker and loosely trace. So it's just giving that illusion of the pencil sketch. If you look at the actual I like that, bringing more of that. Yes. Down, let's see, I think I need just a little more regular in there. She is pretty cool.